Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. One of the Bruins' biggest needs heading into the NHL trade deadline was getting help on their back end, and they definitely addressed that with the trade for Hampus Lindholm. But they clearly weren't done adding to their blue line just yet, as today they've made a trade with the Ottawa Senators. Let's talk about it. The Bruins trade forward Zach Seneshin and a 2022 fifth-round pick to the Ottawa Senators for defenseman Josh Brown and a conditional 2022 seventh-round pick. The condition on that pick is, if Seneshin plays in at least five games for the Senators before the end of the season, that pick will then become a 2022 sixth-round pick. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this trade, but first let's talk about both players. Jake DeBrusque isn't the only member of the 2015 Bruins draft class to request a trade this season. Not too long after he did, Zach Seneshin also requested a trade, and the Bruins honor it here with this deal to the Ottawa Senators. Seneshin has been a disappointment pretty much since the day he was drafted. He was picked way too high. Obviously, he's one of the three picks from the infamous 2015 draft. He was selected with the 15th overall pick. He's only played in 14 NHL games. He has one goal, two assists for a total of three points. And that goal, as I always love to remind Bruins fans, is an empty net. So it's no secret to Bruins fans at this point how much of a disappointment this guy has been. They are not losing an asset here. In fact, I'm more sad about the fifth round pick than I am about losing Seneshin. Now, I will say in his defense, the Bruins never really gave him a chance. When he did play at the NHL level, I don't think he looked out of place. He'd be nothing more than a bottom six guy, but I thought he could keep up. But the Bruins pretty much gave up on this kid the day he was drafted, which is really frustrating because they clearly liked him as a player and then almost immediately started giving up on him and they'd call up every other prospect they have besides Seneshin. And it seemed like he always worked hard in Providence and even had a couple of good seasons. So that's pretty frustrating as a Bruins fan. But if you're a Senators fan, the only thing you can hope for is it's an Ottawa boy coming back home. He definitely has a fire under him because he wants to play in the NHL really bad, I'm sure. But if he doesn't crack it with the Senators, this guy is never going to be an NHL player. And I know Bruins fans are kind of sick about spreading young talent all throughout the league, but I definitely don't think this one will come back to bite us. Now let's talk about the player the Bruins are getting in this trade, Josh Brown. He's a 28-year-old, 6'5", right shot, right defenseman, originally selected in the 6th round, 152nd overall in the 2013 draft by the Florida Panthers. He's played in 46 games with the Ottawa Senators this season. He has zero goals, six assists for a total of six points, and is a minus nine. But keep in mind, he's on one of the worst teams in the NHL, so plus minus is a little overrated there. He's played in a total of 165 NHL games, scoring four goals, 13 assists for a total of 17 points, and is a career minus 12. This player is nothing more than a 6th, 7th, 8th depth defenseman, but that's something that the Bruins desperately needed. And another thing that I love that this player brings is size at 6'5", and he also plays physical, and he's definitely not afraid to drop the gloves. So this is a guy who I definitely think fits Bruins culture, a guy that the fans will love when he does come into games, and I am so sick and tired of getting pushed around in the playoffs, especially on the back end. That was one of the biggest reasons the Bruins lost to the Blues. They always have these little guys running around. I like Matt Grizzlick, and I think he plays pretty well for his size, but they also have a guy like Mike Riley who's not too physical. They have a little guy like Connor Clifton on the right side. So if Clifton's not really working out, maybe you can put in Josh Brown, and now you have another right shot guy who brings a different element to his game. I thought a guy like Jared Tenorti actually looked pretty good for the Bruins last season. This will be a similar addition. In fact, he's probably even a little bit better. So Josh Brown isn't as big of an impact as Hampus Lindholm, but the Bruins do bring even more size to their back end and a little bit of a different style than some of the other defensemen they already have. And you know at playoff time, you can never have enough defensemen, and they barely gave anything up for this guy, so this is a good move by Don Sweeney. As I said, this is nothing more than a depth ad, but the Bruins do move on from a player who didn't want to be a Bruin anymore and a bad storyline in general. And they bring in a guy who has size and physicality and gives them more depth at a position that they needed. So all in all, I think it's a great little trade for Don Sweeney. There's also some news going around on Jake DeBrusque. I haven't made a video on that quite yet. I kind of want to wait and see if he gets moved, and then I'll talk about some other news with him, so do expect a Jake DeBrusque video at some point. I just don't know if it'll be about him sticking around or him being traded. So let me know your thoughts on this trade. Where do you think DeBrusque will go if he goes? Do you think he'll stay? And any other moves you think the Bruins will do? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe.